Okay, I wanted to quick do a video uh, talking about a derivative graph. And of course, we always need to be careful that that is actually what we're looking at, but we are looking at f prime. So the first question is, where is the function increasing? Well, a function is increasing when its derivative is positive. f prime is greater than zero, because of course f prime is the slope. So if the slope's positive, the function must be increasing. So we're positive here and here. So we'd say from negative infinity to negative 4 and from 0 to 4, f is increasing. And the justification, of course, would be that f prime is greater than 0. Now, the next question would be, where is the maximum? Now, of course, a maximum occurs when the function changes from increasing to decreasing. Well, if a function changes from increasing to decreasing, that must mean the derivative, f prime, changed from positive to negative. Therefore, the function changed from increasing to decreasing. So we just, we just need to look uh, for the locations that that happens at. Um, so negative 4 is one spot where the derivative changes from positive to negative, and positive 4 is the other. So those would be, in the original function, that would be where f is at a maximum. And of course, the follow-up would be uh, where is f at a minimum. Well, a minimum occurs when the function changes from decreasing to increasing. That mean, therefore, the derivative changes from negative to positive that occurs at zero, at x equals zero. Now, we don't know the y-coordinates for either of those things, so all we're saying is where it's at a minimum. We're not actually going to say uh, what the minimum value is. Next, uh, inflection points. Inflection points occur where there's a change in concavity. So f changes from concave up to concave down, or from concave down to concave up. Well, that means that f prime changes from increasing to decreasing, or decreasing to increasing. So we're looking, essentially, the easiest way I've always said to justify it is where f prime changes direction. Okay? And that's all encompassing. Then you didn't have to say it changed from positive to negative or negative to positive. You just say it changes direction. Uh, so the inflection points occur here at negative 2 and over here at positive 2. Um, like that. Then uh, the question of concavity. So a function is concave up when its second derivative is positive. Well, if the second derivative is positive, that must mean that f prime, f prime, is, oh, f prime, is increasing. So, of course, concave down would be f prime is decreasing. Sorry for my sloppy writing here. So, it's increasing here from negative 2 to positive 2, so that's where we're concave up. And, of course, decreasing uh, from negative infinity to negative, uh, negative 2, and from 2 to infinity.